Ready, fire, aim. Have you ever heard that before? Well, if you have, I wanna share with you why it's actually one of the worst pieces of advice if you wanna grow your business without going crazy in the process. What's up guys, Jerry L. Kim here, CEO and founder of Healthpreneur. And I was, I was thinking about this because, um, number one, there's a great book on this topic. It's called Ready, Fire, Aim. And the whole idea is that just like get it out there, right? Like get it going. You don't have to get it perfect. And I'm a firm believer of that. Like minimum viable product, get it 80% of the way there, get it out 1 million percent. I definitely, definitely agree with that because I think perfectionism is one of the biggest uh, deterrence to forward progress, right? And there's a lot of people who are perfectionist out of the fear of not being good enough or whatever, okay? So I just wanted to kind of preface by saying that, but here's the bigger thing is that, and this is something I've noticed in our company. Our company, um, we have a tendency just personality-wise and behaviorally to move things very quickly, right? So if you look at the behavioral profiles of a lot of our team, it's very much like take action, move things forward very, very quickly. And that's good, but it's also like with anything, there's two sides to the coin, right? So the superpower of fast action on the flip side, what that creates is complexity, problems, confusion, lack of like lack of clear communication, and ultimately breakdowns. So why I'm sharing this, like whether you have, you know, yourself in the business or a hundred employees or anywhere in between, this principle will also apply to any external communication you have in the marketplace. So here's why. Um, I created a post the other day um, on my profile on Facebook and it was basically clarity equals speed. And I tell my clients, the more clear you are, the faster you'll go. But the flip side to that is that it takes time to get clear. <laughs> so one of our clients has asked me, well, well how, do you get, how do you get clear? How do you get more clarity faster? And the reality is that experience, in my mind, is one of the, the secrets to having more clarity. Because when you have experience, you have more information. And when you have more information, you can make a better decision. So if you've not done something before and you don't have enough information, it's very hard to be clear about what the best step is to move forward with. So you have to understand that there's always gonna be things that you don't know. And in business, your blind spots are your biggest danger. So we just had our kind of step one of our annual planning meeting yesterday. And you know, one of the focus four goals for our company this year is along the lines of operational efficiency, team, leadership, et cetera. And I've kind of left that open a little bit. Like we haven't really fleshed that out yet. And the reason for that is because it's very hard for me to say, this is exactly what we need to focus on when I'm not even sure of the things I'm not even sure about, if that makes sense. So what I mean by that is I'm going to be, and we as a leadership team are going to be exploring a lot of new trainings, et cetera, to help us expand our way of thinking to really three to four X our company in the next 12 months. So what that means is we're going to be learning new things that we currently don't know. So it's hard to even plan accordingly without knowing those things, right? So again, the more information we have, the faster we can get clarity, the more clear we have, the faster we can go, okay? So going back to Ready, Fire, Aim. If, so here's the challenge, is when you have an idea and you just press go, like we're just gonna like throw it out there. What ends up happening is that when you, when you haven't spent the time thinking through it, is that a lot of times it can lead you to having to reevaluate that thing, take it back, bring it back to the drawing board and almost like revamp the whole thing. Again, I wanna preface, again, I wanna juxtapose this by saying, by no means am I saying, delay, 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 until it's perfect. I think that's one of the biggest mistakes in business. So please, get stuff out there. But I am saying, there has to be a moment in your process where you think and you plan. So, as an example, we have a tool called the Vision Clarifier. And the Vision Clarifier is a one-page tool that helps clarify what it is you want to create, okay? So let's say you're working on a project. The first most important thing you have to identify is what's the problem or pressure you're solving? What's the, 
what's the um, why is like what's the thing you want to solve, right? Like what's the what's the focus of the project? So you clarify that. Okay. The second thing you do is you identify why is that important? Because if it's not important, it's not worth your time. So you literally like like write out. You know, again, this is all put into like a little box. Why is this so important? Well, it's important because X, Y, or Z. And then the this is important because you have to sell yourself on what it is you're thinking about bringing to life. Because if it's not meaningful, it's not even worth spending the time doing. Leadership, and you are a leader if you own your own business, leadership is about doing the right things. It's not about doing things right, it's about doing the right things. If you don't do the right things, you end up making a lot of mistakes, wasting a lot of money and having to go back to the drawing board and you're like, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so really, really, I mean, if you just put aside for any idea that you had, if you said, I do not deploy this idea unless I give myself 10 to 20 minutes of thinking, and if you want to use this framework, it can help. So what's the problem or pressure you want to resolve? No project should be executed on if there's no pressure to resolve. That's the point of having a project. Two is why is that important? Number three is what does success look like? What is the non, what are the non-negotiable outcomes? So think of them in the, in the form of the outcome itself, time and investment. So what is the outcome quantitatively? It could be a number of clients, it could be a number of users, it could be an amount of money you want, it could be something, you know, whatever. Time is what is the deadline or the acceptable duration? If you say, okay, cool, I'm gonna devote, uh, I'm gonna give this project three months. And if it doesn't happen by three months, I'm gonna kill it. Or this has to be done by January 31st, whatever it is. And then investment is what is the acceptable amount that you were willing to invest in terms of time, sorry, in terms of money and or human resources. Do you have to hire someone? Do you have to you know, get someone outside to help you? Do you have to use your own time, your own energy? Or, or do you have to buy a software? Do you have to make investments, right? Um, you wanna clarify that stuff, okay? That's the third step, is you wanna clarify the outcomes. Number four is you start to really think about what's the best case scenario if this works out? What's the best thing, like the dream scenario if I do this? And what's the nightmare, the worst case scenario, if I don't do this? And this is very important because now, again, you're getting connected to the, you're reconnecting to the why. The reconnecting to why, 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 like, why even spend the time even thinking about this or executing on this? You clarify that. And then the final piece is you start to do your best to map out what are some of the bigger milestones that have to be met that will bring this from where it is now to those outcomes that we clarified or we've identified. So that's the vision clarifier. It's all about clarifying your vision. This whole process takes 10 minutes, okay? It could take a little bit longer or a little bit less, but really it's you know maximum 15, 20 minutes. Now, it's so important to do this because here's why. Um, when you, so let's say that you're executing everything yourself, okay? So as my friend Dean Jackson calls it, you're the self-milking cow. You're milking your own milk, okay? <laughs> which is, whatever it is in, in the short term in the long term you definitely don't want to be milking your own milk you want to have other people that can take your ideas your milk to the market so this is about clarifying what this looks like what success looks like why are we doing this so initially you sell yourself on it and you know more or less okay this makes sense it's worth it here's more or less the trajectory to get there cool let's go if you're handing this off to someone else then you would give them the vision clarifier they're going to go through it and now they have clarity about what you're looking to achieve. So I would ask them to send me a two to three minute screen flow video for them to explain back to me what I have in the vision clarifier. And now that I know they're on the same page, I'm like, cool, go ahead, let's make it happen. When that doesn't happen, what, without tools like this, it, uh, we end up just launching and doing things all the time without even thinking about what it is we're doing. And when your business starts to grow, when you start to work with more people than just yourself, it becomes a friggin' nightmare to operate a business like that. And it becomes very frustrating for people to work with you because a lot of us entrepreneurs are very high ideation. We're very creative. We have a lot of ideas we want to bring to market. 
And if you just keep like going and throwing new things out there, you will drive your team crazy because a lot of the people that are going to work with you are going to be the opposite. They're going to be like, hold on, cowboy. I don't like change. I like stability. I need all the details first. And you have to understand that not everyone is like us. Okay. So going back to Ready, Fire, Aim, Ready, Fire, Aim is, again, context is the right word to use here. And I use it all the time. Okay. Ready, Fire, Aim in the sense of like, you don't have to get everything perfect for sure, right? You're always going to get, you're always going to make your thing better over time. But ready, fire, aim in the sense of I have an idea, let's do it tomorrow, bad idea. You have to think it through, take 10, 15, 20 minutes, use some type of planning and thinking tools like the vision clarifier just mentioned to really think, like plan out your thinking. And this is why I say all the time, the most important thing you can do as the leader of your business is nothing. It's thinking. And if you can build your business to the point where someone asks you like, what'd you do today? And the answer is I sat in my chair and I was thinking. And they might, they might say to themselves, well, that sounds like a waste of time, but they don't know, right? You have to understand that thinking is the most valuable use of your time because when you think you get clarity and when you get clarity, you can get stuff done faster. Here's an example, okay? So in the hiring process, if you are hiring someone, excuse me, it's very, very important that you spend the time up front being explicitly clear about what you're looking for in the role, in the outcomes, in the type of person you want. And then in the hiring process, you need to have a really strict vetted hiring process because if you hire the wrong person, you will spend... 50 to 100 times more time with that person, not even in the lifetime of their their employment, just in the first couple months. And eventually you could realize they were the wrong hire as opposed to spending one hour up front really, really thinking clearly through what has to be here in this person, what do I not want, what are the core competencies, what are the behavioral tendencies, what's the experience I'm looking for, what's the cultural fit, That stuff needs to be so dialed in. The biggest mistake people make with hiring is they're not clear about what the role is, okay? So do not, and I I know I'm kind of going off on a couple little tangents here, but hopefully it's all making sense for you, is that taking action without thinking is very not smart. We'll put it that way, okay? It's always gonna be worth the time to think through your idea. So if you want to use a vision clarifier type of tool to map out from a hiring perspective, from an ideation perspective of something you want to rent to market, it is a very, very, very important use of your time. So instead of ready, fire, aim, it really should be ready, aim, fire. Okay. Again, with the caveats saying you do not need to deliberate for months on end for things to be perfect. I'm saying take an hour in the aim process if you need to, to really flesh it out. It will save you a hundred times more hours in the long term by doing that. And I'll finish by saying this. In my previous health business, we launched more than a hundred different products. That is like amateur level 101. So when I, when I hear a business owner talk about like, yeah, like I'm launching a new thing and a new thing and a new thing, I'm like, okay, how's that all working out for you? Because it's amateur hour. And I was that guy for many years. We launched more than 100 info products, courses, supplements, all combined, you name it, okay? And the reason we did that is because I was just like, oh, we should do this next. There was never a moment of pause and thought and planning. It was just like, we're gonna do this next. We're gonna launch this next. We're gonna go, we're gonna go. And it drove our team crazy. And guess what happened? Out of the 100 products, how many do you think really, really killed it? maybe two or three. And this is, this is why it's so important to spend the time thinking because you're not going to know which ones are going to make, you know, the biggest, you know, have the biggest home run, but you have to have a good thought slash vetting slash planning process before you pour all of your energy into doing something. Okay. So anyways, hopefully this makes sense. If it does drop me a comment below, if you're watching this on YouTube, 
Hey, you know what to do. Subscribe. Got tons of other stuff to help you build a successful virtual practice or coaching business online, however you'd like to define it. That's all for me today. I hope you have an awesome one, guys. Thanks so much for your attention. I appreciate you and uh, keep on rocking. Ciao.